Hey everyone, Matt Basarsik from RazorEmporium.com coming at you today for a Shea review of the newest offering from Rex Supply Co. 1966. All right, we're gonna start it from right here. I've just applied a little bit of the Razor Emporium pre-shave bar. Um, as you've heard me say many times, coming into our video studio and doing a almost the equivalent of a dry shave is never pleasant, but the pre-shave bar helps to make it a little bit more pleasant, a little more slick and prep my beard. Um, so today I'm really excited to kind of officially use on camera the 1966. This is the newest offering from Rex Supply Co. Um, and as I, I'll talk about it as I'm lathering up, but um, beautiful, wonderful, smells fantastic. Let's talk real quick about Rex Supply Co. and, and just kind of a broader picture, then we'll get into the specifics of the soap. Rex is a uh, kind of a sister company of Razor and Horium, if you haven't already picked up on that. Some people don't know. Yeah, but uh, we started Rex about six years ago, as of the shooting of this video, uh, with making hardware. And we kind of hit the scene with uh, the Rex Ambassador, the, the world's first and still only American adjustable stainless steel razor. Um, and that was, was, you know, smashing heavy, still make it, I've sold thousands and thousands of them. Um, you know, we did some other razors, Envoy, the console, world's first adjustable slant. And then we started getting involved with, with hardware, or sorry, with, with software. Um, and we had already been making the Razor Emporium vegetable-based or vegan-based um, shaving soap for years. That started like, I think around 2017. And so when it was time to do something for Rex, I was talking to our team and I said, you know, we really need to do something different. You know, we have this wonderful Razor Emporium base. A lot of people like it. But let's do something different. You know, Rex is all about revisit excellence. That's kind of the motto, you know, the tagline of Rex. Um, kind of what Rex stands for, you know, R-E-X, revisit excellence. It also means Razor Emporium experience to me. That the experience that we have had of, of more than a decade of Razor Emporium of, you know, buying, selling, collecting vintage razors, retailing soaps and creams from around the world and you know, having access to some of the most you know, awesome vintage collections. I started seeing like some of this beautiful stuff that was made in the past and kind of wondering how do we bring it back. And one of the, one of the things from the you know, years of, of shaving past was tallow-based shaving soap. And tallow means that it has animal fat, right? Um, specifically beef fat as kind of the base of the soap. And um, beef fat or tallow has a lot of upsides for people's perception and experience of shaving performance. Now, I'm not gonna get into the objective nature whether you can objectively measure whether some vegan soaps can equal or match or surpass a tallow. This isn't um, a laboratory examination, this is your bathroom. And in the world of your bathroom, it, what matters is your experience and your, and your subjective belief of something. Um, that doesn't mean that someone else may have a different experience. That's fine, that's their experience. Um, so a lot of people like tallow soaps and a lot of the old ones used to be tallow. And so when we brought out the, the software line, the first one was 1955, and then now 1966, we say old world tallow on, on the front. And just kind of representing that, that old school kind of approach to, to a soap. And also differentiates it from Razor Emporium soap. Um, as you saw, I was blabbing here. <laughs> very easy to make a, a nice lather, um, very hydrated. Very nice. I've been using 1966 at home for the better part of two weeks. And obviously I had some prototypes before that that I was trying, but uh, the package, you know, final version, fully scented, all that kind of stuff. Um, about two weeks, I love it. So 
I think I have a pretty good idea of what to expect here. And yes, I got black towels, finally. <laughs> I already threw a blade into this Gillette Fat Boy. Now this has been redone in our Prospector finish at Razor Emporium with rhodium and 24 karat gold. I think I have a Perma Sharp in here with one shave on it from the last time we shaved. I'm gonna set it to number five, which is just a, a, me knowing where about I like it. Let's get started. So nice, especially using a vintage razor. Now this razor is not from 1955, it's from 1960. So I got 1966 soap and 1960 Gillette Fat Boy. And even these colors look, these colors even look pretty good together. Look at that. That was a pretty good little look here. We obviously went with a real retro kind of look for, uh, for this, just like 1955 has kind of a real throwback. The, uh, let's go into the actual specifics. 1966 has scent notes that include tangerine, bergamot, and sandalwood. So as is the time of the shooting, it's summer here in Arizona, and that citrus note of the tangerine, um, really, really enjoyable in the summer months. One nice thing about an adjustable razor is you can simply turn it down for a different area of your body, like my neck, I'll turn it down just a little bit from five to four. So we arrived at the uh, place of how to, how to fragrance 1966 by looking at kind of some popular fragrances from the 60s, that era. And there was a product from Aramis that had a bergamot note to it. And there was a product from Brute that had kind of a citrus and a, and a woodsy kind of uh, scent to it. And so that was kind of some of the inspiration. So yeah, really excited about this new product. We released it about a week ago, and it has done phenomenal. We have sold so much, we've had to make, I think, two or three more batches of the product. And we're also really happy that, at least this time around, we have all three products released together, which is what we should have been doing with 1955. So we have the balm and the splash and the soap all ready at the same time. But I've been, uh, again, I've been using the um, 1966 and 1955 before that, that's tallow-based rec soaps for months now at home. And my skin has really, really appreciated it. And I know there's some people out there that maybe are vegan or vegetarian or they don't want to use animal products. There's, that's fine. Like we, again, the razor and point stuff is all vegan. Um, I think there's some phenomenal vegan formulas out there, not just ours. I mean, other, there's so many brands. I don't, I don't even need to list them all. You guys know them. Um, easy to research, too, if you don't. But I think it's hard to deny that a, a beef fat um, or just any kind of fat can actually be really good on your skin. <laughs> You guys seen the movie Fight Club? <laughs> wow, nice shave. Especially having, again, not taking a shower before, you know, all that kind of stuff, I always say, I, my disclaimers, my excuses. Great shave with the Rex 1966. Really, I really enjoy this scent. The, um, the tangerine, I just think, really hits the spot, especially right now. It's so, it's so hot out. You know what I want? I just want like citrusy stuff in the summertime. And uh, yeah, I usually go for balms, 
but I'm gonna hit I, I'm gonna hit the splash. So it does say shake before using. You know, the tangerine oil in here just doesn't want to really blend with the alcohol and witch hazel. We tried, we even added some other stuff to try to get it to all blend, but so do shake. It reminds me of squirt. <laughs> I'm a big fan again of of, um, of squirt, not in terms of the scent, but the color. But yeah, we'll we'll try this out. A little bit of that. Oh yeah, feels like I'm rubbing orange juice in my skin. <laughs> no, it has much more sophistication past past that. You can smell the sandalwood. You can smell the bergamot. In fact, when I had I think I had my wife smell it. The first thing she said was the, the sandalwood. And I was like, oh, wow, like the tangerine, you know? Oh, yeah, I guess tangerine, too. <laughs> so nice. And this is what I'm going for. I always tell you guys, skin's just a little tacky. Anywho, that's 1966. Splash, the balm, the soap. Check it out if you haven't already done so. Add it to your lineup. Enjoy it in the summertime or the wintertime or any time you want a quality shave. That's all I got. Enjoyed the Fat Boy Prospector. If you've used 1966, if you were born in 1966, <laughs> if you've used tallow-based soaps versus vegan-based soaps, tell me below in the comments. If you do leave a comment, you're interested in to win this, the official Razor Emporium Black and Blue t-shirt. That's all I got for you guys today. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to our channel. Share this video with anyone who needs to see this video. Um, leave a comment and uh, we will see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks guys.